Hey everybody, RC here, back with episode 54 of The Journeyman, marching on towards episode 100, off in the hazy future. Uh, anyway, catching up. Alright, so we beat Azure Gardens in the uh, Derby 5-1. Eric Lovedahl scored. Celestros a two-minute break, a one-minute brace. Ivan Tony with a goal and our center back Dominic Ball a capper 5-1 win and then 4-2 over Ostersons, uh, Solanke and young Calvin McDonald both with braces McDonald getting two in a four minute span uh, let's see Os Usama uh, he scored late against us we he actually played for my uh, for Leeds in the game, so that was interesting. Thought the name was familiar, but that must be from my Leeds save. And that's a different alternate reality in the Marvel universe. <laughs> All right, so today we are playing Copenhagen. Uh, I was linked with another job. Once again, it was up in the premiere. Who was it? It was... Uh, all right, they've already filled it, it looks like. No, uh was it Middlesbrough? No. Maybe. No, I don't remember. Maybe it was Middlesbrough. Anyway, uh, I, I, I refused any interest... Also, a question for you guys. Let's see if I can find the email. Uh, I've actually posted this question over at uh, the uh, Football Manager Forums. All right, so you know you get the little email here when a club in your league fires somebody. And, you know, up here it gives you the, the favorites for the job. And then down here it gives you the sack race. So my question is, you see I'm here at 12 to 1 to be fired. Uh, <laughs> I find that amusing. But is this like the top three people in the league? Does that mean I'm like the second favorite person to get fired? Or is this just at random? And here's what really threw me off. There was another firing right here, and I was 18 to 1. At this point, we were in second position in the table, and I had uh, I was one point behind, and I had four matches in hand over Gotoberg. And then when this one, we actually won. We won 4 to 2 over Ostersons. Then they fire, then Malmo fired their coach. So even with the win, I moved up to the top of the table. And, you know, let's see, we are, we're one point, and I still have four games in hand and a plus 23 goal differential. And I'm 12 to 1, and supposedly the second. Should be the second coach fired? That's got to be bullshit, right? <laughs> and the board confidence is there. I mean, you know, granted, it's only 69%. I think they were a little upset with me looking around. But there's really nothing... There's really nothing dragging me down, right? I mean... I mean, I'm untouchable at 76% in actuality, so... I'm not sure where they would be pulling me to be the second, you know, from a betting perspective, to be the second coach fired. Not sure. Anyway, uh, getting on to it, we're playing Copenhagen in the uh, Champions Cup. And this is the playoffs. All right, so we've made it through qualifying phase. I don't know if playoffs is like, I don't know how late in the in the game this is. I mean, are we in the final eight?
or you know what's what's beyond this I, I i honestly have no idea so i don't know if we're in the final eight or where we're at but anyway we're gonna go with the uh four four two we're gonna go with our top lineup tony Solanke, van bergen love doll and again we just don't have we don't have all the right guys to to be playing Let's see, Lundquist is at right back. How good is Van Bergen? Eh, he can't mark very well. He's not horrible, right? Do I want to put him in to start? I mean, Lundquist is at 90%. You know what? I could put Lindell over there. Lindell can play both sides. And then I could put Anderson in there. No, Anderson's at 86%. Never mind. All right, that's not a good idea either. All right, well, we're going to go with that. Submit the team. Let's get into it. Uh, Van Bergen will auto number. Oh, he gets a good number. Luck of the draw. Pick up where you left off. All right. They are in the nice white kits, and we are in the Bumblebee outfits. Mm -hmm. Oh, the full Monty in goal. Oh, there's a nice little header down. Oh, oh there's a nice ball. Dangerous. Hulse makes a run. Oh, shit. Taiwo Awanil, Awan, Awanil, Awanlil. That's a, that's a tongue twister. All right, so we are actually down early. All right, let's check our tactic here real quick. We are playing slightly deeper. We are in a counter. You know, I'm gonna go up to, uh, I'm gonna go up to standard. Let's do that. I want to be a little more attacking. Oh, thought somebody was going to get a boot on it right there. All right, Scons plays it back. They reset. Oh, there's a deep ball. Scons breaks through the defense, taken down in the box. Oh, there's going to be a card here, too. No, maybe. All right, Tony with the penalty. Come on. Get us back in this. There it is. Tony with the goal. Equalizes. 24th goal of the season. And we have an away goal. Very nice. Oops. I don't know what that was. I don't know what I hit. Fair enough. Oh, shit. All right. Um, damn. All right. We are closing down much more. Tighter marking. We're playing narrow. Um, I'm going to go back to counter. And opposing instructions. All right, we're gonna close. We're gonna close him down. Always and Hulse. We're going to close. Oh, I want. I want to tight mark him. I have actually never messed with uh, OIs in the middle of a game. So a little freaked out by that, but it's the same two guys tearing us up there. Oh, 
Oh my God, he's running again. Oh <laughs> shit! Was it? And that was him again. Same tree. Same duo. Oh my gosh. Oh, gun with a nice save there. All right, we're starting to get some shots on goal. Starting to pull back in. Uh, well, now they're putting it on us again. Uh, let's uh, encourage them. All right, all things considered, probably doing well to be down two to one. But I don't know, man. I don't know. All right. Uh, well, they nodded in agreement. All right. I do need to tell these guys to watch a booking. And that's three bookings. I think in this formation, we actually do... No, I don't have get stuck in on. All right. So... All right, let's go. Come on, boys. Anybody really playing shit? Uh, not really. Not really. I know, you know, the you know, some guys uh, that I watch use like a 7 rating as like a line of demarcation for good or bad. I'm I'm a little more 6 and a half range, you know. Six four six five is kind of where I draw the line. Oh, gun! You alligator armed that one. All right, that's gonna be gutting. All right. Um. All right, if I swap those guys, then I can bring on Anderson for the rest of the game. And the funny thing is, none of my guys with yellow cards are guys that are dragging. I'm going to bring on Mads and... You know what? I'm going to play him a little out of position. He's a little more attacking. And we're after the 70th minute, so I'm going to pull that third sub a little early. All right, there's Alessandro. Out to Aleone. Solanke. Oh, nice touching. Oh, there it is. Nice finish by Tony. Right place, right time. All right, we're going to encourage him again. That was great. Still gives us enough time. Can we pull even? All right, good defense by House. Alessandro starts it up again. Tony over the top. Solanke. Oh, he's into the box. There it is. Yes. All right, let's pause. All right, we're already on counter, right? There's really nothing else to do. Oh, that was huge. I mean, that's an equalizer and three away goals. So, you know, we could really use that to our advantage in the home leg, right? Uh-oh, over the top. Oh, thank goodness. Awani puts it over the goal. All right. Uh, let's give a concentrate. Alessandro brings it up to the top of the box. 
Oh, heel kick. Very nice. Chipped in. Oh, my God. Can we steal this one? Aleone with a goal. We're up 4-3. Oh, my God. Oh, that was so huge. That was nice. A little inside-out heel kick, man. A. Leone with a nice run there. Very, very good. Was not expecting that. All right, so we've got to concentrate. We've got five minutes. Come on, boys. All right, Gum gathers that one in. Just boot it out, dude. There you go. Oh, look, a through ball. Solanke. Oh, no. Boy, that would have relieved a lot of tension. Oh, Gunn hauls that one in. Come on. Oh, you, why? Oh, how did you not get that? Where's my defense? Come on! Was that the young kid? No, that was Ball. Jesus. Oh, that was horrible. Oh, did not even try to close on that. Shit. To be that close to a win is is gut wrenching, but you know, all things considered, I think we're probably pretty lucky. And man, the goals just poured in late there. Wow. Um. All right, I'm gonna tell them they were excellent. The defense. I was disappointed. So, yeah, we fire him up. All right, good. Nodded in agreement. Excellent. All right, so. Man, I was not expecting that. And there was no penalty. All right, so what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to play. Actually, you know what? Let's play Gothenburg because this is a pretty big match in the league. So we're four games in hand, and we're one up on them. And we're plus 23 goal differential. And they're one of our two losses on the season. So let's play them. That is going to be on the 20th. All right, so we'll come back for that here in just a second. See you guys shortly. All right, guys, back with uh, for the next game. Uh, Robert Gumney signed. I mentioned him uh, one or two episodes back. I had put in an offer for him, and the club, Burnley, accepted it, but then his agent would not negotiate because he said our financial situation would not allow us to meet his demands. Well, he's making $2 million a year. And I've got $12 million a year available. So I don't know what that's about. But anyway, you could have played for us. Instead, you're going to go play for Vigo. Well, it is Spanish First Division, to be fair. So I guess I'll cut you some slack for that. Don't know if they're a top side there or not, but whatever. All right, so we're going to be playing Gothenburg. As I said, we are four games in hand with Gothenburg. We're already one point above them, plus 33 goal differential. Now, I mean, granted, they can still jump over us uh, and knock us down to second with a win. A draw, we maintain status quo. 
And uh, if we get the win, well, we'll be up pretty, pretty handily, four points with four in hand. So we'll see. But I thought that uh, that thing about that player was kind of interesting. All right, match preview. All right, we are favorites, not by a ton, but I am still, I am still going to go with my more attacking formation. But I am going to drop it to standard, and I think we're good there. But we have another new player, Vestin. Vestin's a guy that we just moved up, uh, 18 years old. Uh, he is a uh, yeah, I don't know that he's going to play a lot for us. We're trying to train him in, in a, I think, a central mid position. They're playing with a five-man midfield defensive posture. See if we can attack that or not. All right, they got the first shot of the match and the second. All right, 20 minutes in, and we have not made a shot yet. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. That was horrible. Nice save by gun. Not in a good mood. Uh, after uh, after recording the first match, uh, I watched the end of the Leeds game. I had had it on my phone, and uh, they lost to Aston Villa today. So, yeah, not very happy. Some talk that they may uh, end up firing their their newer their new manager. Right, uh, they already fired Thomas Christensen this year and uh, hired uh, Hecky, and now they're talking about getting rid of him. At what point do you sit there and go, you know, it's not the manager's fault. It, it, you know, the players are just shit. Oh, Love Doll blew it. I think he could have played that across to Tony and got an easy goal there. All right, Celestros. Come on, boys. All right, getting a couple of shots now. Handling possession pretty well. Uh-oh, that's a dangerous ball. Another nice save by Gunn. Shot it right into his hand, so that helps. Come on, boys. Oh, good clearance. Get it out of here. All right, get creative. Oh, there's a nice ball. Tony makes a brilliant run. Oh, and he pushes it wide. Damn it. Come on, fellas. All right, Love Doll into the box. Boy, Love Doll has to make a big run for that. Oh, there's a nice ball. Solanke, Scons. All right, let's find the net here, boys. Come on, hello. All right, well, I'm not going to worry about that. Oh, dangerous positioning. Oh, my goodness. That ball was just sitting out there, wasn't it? We got really lucky there. Outshot by two. All right. Possession-wise, we're doing good. All right. Um, yes, it was disappointing. And tactic-wise, we're going to go back up to attacking. Because we're controlling the match very well, right? So, anybody playing poorly? 
six six a six two for Tony is not very good. Nobody else. Uh, let's see, Celestros. No, that's not the guy. No, Solanke's up there. Yeah, we're playing in the three striker. You know who I don't have on my bench is uh, McDonald. Okay. Bay is enough. Uh, I thought we had a counter going on right there. All right. Let's encourage him. Let's go. All right. Um, Courtney Haas. Let's bring in uh, Lindell. Solidify the back line. Um, Abel Gim Germa. Yeah, he's got nothing for finishing. I, I'm not the guy I'd like on the bench. I want to rest him. How about Bingston? Mid. Let's put him in for Celestros. Slightly out of position. Oh, there's a pickup by Anderson. Can we get a counter here? Where in the hell are you kicking it, dude? Oh, there's a nice pickup by Solanke. Header to Tony. Dropped back. Oh, there it is. Look at that. Oh, nice finish by Savodadov. Brilliant finish. All right, now we're going to tell him to concentrate. And I want to play slightly deeper now. And let's go back to control. Um, you know what? I'm going to bring A. Leone in. Let's bring him in for Casper Scans. Oh, look at that. Some ricochet action. Brilliant. Lucky as hell, but we'll call it brilliant. What's the uh, the quote from that movie? There's a uh, there's a movie about the uh, NFL draft. Oh, look at that! That was nice. It dinged off a finger. <laughs> I think, and I'm pretty darn sure that was an accident. Uh, but anyway, there's an NFL uh, fictitious NFL movie called Draft Day with Kevin Costner. I enjoy it. A lot of people don't like it, but I, I enjoy it for what it is. Um, but they have a miraculous happening at the draft and uh, the owner of the team uh, at the very end, some of the icons from the team are there and they're saying, hey, you, you did a great job with the draft. And he goes, well, he goes, I really didn't do anything. I can't take all the credit. But since I'm the owner, I will, you know, <laughs> so I can't take we can't take the credit for that, but we will. Uh, so two nothing. We'll take that. Uh, yeah, you know, um, that was a good performance. Don't let it get to your heads. There we go. All right, so that should solidify us into first place. And then we have Copenhagen, the second leg, and then your Copings, who just fired their manager about a week ago. So let's finish today. There we go. All right. Grin apologizes. Ball, but he had a he had a goal and a good rating. So hey, we'll there we go. All right, so five a five match win streak. 
and it looks like I'm picking a good time to finish this video. My wife is getting home from work, I guess. Yep, and the dogs were freaking out. All right, let's finish the day. Here we go. All right, so schedule-wise, we're on a nice run again. Competition. So now we are four up. Still have four in hand, which is insane. And, uh, God, we're, we're almost, is that, we're at 20, 27 goal differential? Oh, my gosh. That is crazy. Crazy, crazy. Uh, top goal score. Let's see, player stats. All right, so he's got 18, 13, 10. I would have swore we had more goals than that, but I don't know. Let's see. We could look here, I suppose. This isn't, this is all, all, uh, this is all competitions, though. So 25, 21, 19. So we're going to have three 20 goal scores and possibly a couple of 30 goal scores. That's, that's pretty astounding. Seven, nine, Three and nine. Nine assists from at nine and seven on the assist from my fullbacks, from my wingbacks, pretty solid. All right, guys, well, leave a like for the video. Subscribe if you're new or haven't done so before. And uh, we're not, we're going to come right back uh, for the next episode with the second leg of Copenhagen, who we drew with 4 4 today. And. Yeah, I don't know what to do here. Probably, I don't know, do we come back for the Swedish Cup? I don't know. Maybe we just come back and do three matches in this one because I don't know what else to do. But, no, nah, I think that'll be too long. All right, so we'll come back for uh, Copenhagen, and then we'll figure out what we do at that point. Thanks, guys. Have a good one, and we'll see you next time. Bye.